So here's the piece of titanium that I forged yesterday. Today I'm going to uh, work on the other end and I'm going to heat treat it in oil and see uh, what happens. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just getting that titanium round bar and flattening it out to a piece of flat bar. And I'm going to cut that into probably like two sections. One of them I'm going to uh, quench in oil and then one of them I'm going to quench in water and see which one works. So quick update, um, I just hardened this piece. I hardened it in oil, vegetable oil, and this piece I haven't done anything to yet, aside from cut it, obviously. I'm about to harden this one, or attempt to. For this one, it actually did get hard, noticeably harder than it already was. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And also something I noticed is as I was forging it, if I got it up to about a little under forge welding temperature for steel, it started to pop a couple times uh, when I brought it over to my anvil. So I have no clue what that is. So I haven't file tested the water hardening one yet, or the one that I hardened in water yet. But if you listen to this, you can kind of hear that this one has a higher pitch tone. And I know the, that the one that I hardened in oil is a lot harder than it was before. But I think this one is a lot harder, even brittle. So I'm going to file test this one, and then I'm going to try to break both of these. And I'm, I'm guessing that the oil hardening one will bend a little bit before it breaks, but I'm guessing this one is just going to snap. Or maybe it will bend a little bit less before it breaks than the oil one. And something I forgot to mention is with the oil hardening one, I preheated the oil um, by just getting a piece of steel bar and heating it up and you know heating up the oil with that i saw i saw an alex Steele video where he did that i'm not sure why it works but it does so i'll see you when i finish breaking them i know i said i'll get back to you after i broke them but i just file tested them and i'm pretty i i I'm, i don't have a lot of experience with this obviously but to me it seems like they're about as hard as each other um and with this one, I don't know if it just got so hard that the file was just like basically polishing it, but they felt about the same. This one felt like it was um, skating a little bit more. I'm not really sure. Okay guys, so that was insane. Sorry I couldn't record it. Um, I didn't have anybody else to record it and I can't do it one handed obviously, but that took so much force. I was swinging this two pound hammer basically as hard as I could and it took a good seven seven hits at full force which you know I'm pretty weak but still swinging a two pound hammer at full force and I had hang on I had this much this much leverage tried to hit here every time which I pretty much did but that was insane it took so much force and that was the water hardening one so theoretically that one should be the harder one and this is the oil hardening oops this is the oil hardening so if titanium hardens in oil then this one should be even harder than this one uh, but I'm gonna try it and I don't know, if I, if I hit it 10 times full force and it doesn't break, I'm just going to give up and say that it hardens in oil. Really quickly before I try breaking the oil hardening one, uh, there's the break right there. These are the two pieces, I just linked them together. But this is how much it bent before it broke. So it didn't bend a huge amount, so it was pretty hard. But again, it did bend, so that doesn't mean it was brittle, which, which is great. And what I've been reading about grade 5 titanium, which this is, um, it's, it's supposed to be really tough and durable instead of really hard. That's why, um, it's not that great for making knives, because it's, it's really tough, but it's not that hard. So, the, these are the two pieces, the one to the top right here, that's the water, the one I hardened in water, this is the one I hardened in oil. The oil one bent a lot more. As you can see, well not a lot more, 
but it definitely bent more, and it also um, didn't take as, as many hits. So that means it's softer and it broke faster, and I'm not really sure why, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But basically my conclusion is that with, tight, with grade 5 titanium, at least the way I did it, um, you harden it in water and you don't need a temper. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but I freaking dented my hammer so much just from hitting the titanium. Man, that's pretty cool.